I was born with a strange gift. The ability to see what no human being has ever seen before. It's all mixed up in my head. The images, the sounds, the smell. I need to remember. Put things in order right up to this moment. Remember who I am. If I had to say how it all began, I might just as well start here. I found you by the side of the road, in the middle of nowhere. Was there an accident? Did, did someone try to hurt you? How about a name? Someone I could contact? You must have family. Friends? Someone who could tell me who you are. Hey. You don't talk much, do you? Well, if you don't help me, I can't help you. <sighs> oh, I get nowhere. Is that a scar? Is that a recent? We've got to stop them. They have no idea what they're up against. Tell them to wait until I get there. Let's get back to them immediately, you hear me? You've got to stop them! Goddamn fools! There you are. 
How you doing today, Jody? Good? <laughs> I hate to bother you when you're playing and all, but uh, I believe it's time, honey. Come on, girl, you'll have plenty of time to play later. All right, Nathan's waiting for us. Ah, oh, come on. I don't have any more change. Seriously? Hi, Cole. Hey, Alan. It's nearly ready. It was due two weeks ago. Hello, it's precious. Don't you look pretty today? Better late than never, I guess. Here we are. It's gonna rain this weekend. We got a lot of rain this year. I suppose that's true. Hasn't been particularly cold, though. No, it hasn't. Hey, Jody. How's your day been so far? Pretty good. Okay, we're gonna put this on now. Remember? Just like a crown. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you're a little princess. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. I'm right next door if you need me, okay? Hey, Jody, can you hear me? Okay, let's start. Kathleen is next door, and she has the same cards as you. And we're gonna get her to choose one and see if you can tell us which one she chose. You think you can do that? Good. All right, let's go for it. First card. Next card.
Next card. Very good, Jody. Let's try something else. There's some building blocks on the table in the other room. You think you can make them fall over? Good, Jody. Anything else in the room you can move? I'm sorry, but I'm done. Okay, Jody, honey, the experiment is over. It's locked. The door's locked! No, I'm Kathleen, it's not locked. locked. It's probably get just stuck. Give here. us a moment. Get me out of here now! Calm down, Kathleen. Go get the door. You have to stop now, Jody. The test is over. You need to stop. It's locked! You can't! He's not with me! Jody, it's over, Jody. It's over. It's over. It will never be over. What do I do if something goes wrong? There won't be anything you can do. That's what I suspected. Just checking. Who are these people? Uh, diplomats, politicians, businessmen, spies. It's the usual embassy crowd. But most important thing, act natural. If anyone speaks to you, just smile. So do you want me to act natural, or do you want me to smile? I didn't know you had a sense of humor. Only when I'm scared to that. Ryan, I'm delighted you could attend. Always a pleasure, Sheikha, man. I uh, would like you to meet my assistant, Elizabeth. I was unaware that American diplomacy was undertaken with such disarming charm. The pleasure is mine, Elizabeth. Gentlemen, I give you back your host. We'll talk later on that. Until then, Ryan. He hates me. All well, time he was imagining my head on a stick. I think he found you charming. I should be flattered. Okay, I'm gonna shake some hands, blend in, find some more quiet. You know what you have to do. Uh, Ambassador, you're a sight for sore eyes. I need to find a quiet place. I'm 
still into the Mustang, honestly. Back in the 10-4-3 Ferrari. It's not the Mustang. I just remember how it used Elizabeth, I see you've escaped from our mutual friend. <laughs> A drink, perhaps? We should get to know each other better. Maybe later. As you wish. Later it is? I need to find a quiet place. Riha Jetan. Tara Sabika. Cannot but see ya. Nam. Atasa wo monte a jedan fi London. La rat kuntu hunak a kishach al madi. Wash tarai tu kula shayan min al matajer al kabira. Wa fi nihaya nam ya kun hunak a makan ya. Hayden, are you ready? There's a large painting in one of the rooms upstairs. Behind it is a safe. The documents we're looking for are inside. But there are guards and cameras, so you have to be careful, you got it? It hurts like hell when you're too far away. An office with a portrait of the Sheik. This is the place. There's gotta be a switch somewhere. To move the painting. Find it, Aiden. حسام، اذهب والكي نظرة على مكتب السفير حاضر، سأذهب حالا شيء غريب على الشاشة Shit! The camera was on! Oh, the card's coming! Don't move anything or he'll sound the alarm! أنا في المكتب، كل شيء في مكانه I think there must be another way.
This is the place. Aiden, you know what to do. Crap. You gotta distract the guard first. Nobody will be able to monitor the main office now. We should be safe. If you can open the safe. Good job. Now we have to read the documents. Make it quick. I can't hold on much longer. Okay, now don't move. Sorry, I can't do anything to help you.
Listen, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't go. Jody, you've been begging me for weeks. You're not going to back up now. I don't know anybody there. They might all hate me and... Stress is awful. Let's just go. Just take a deep breath. There's no reason to panic. It's just a birthday party. I'm sure everybody will like you. You'll have fun, maybe meet some new friends. Go on. Oh, don't forget your present. It's a book of poetry by Poe. It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. Don't worry. It's gonna be all right. I'll pick you up at five. Have fun. Jody, come in. Hi. Hey, Kirsten, you come in? I gotta go. Come in, Jody. Don't be shy. Hey, Jody, right? Come on, we're in the living room. Some girls from my school and the least dorky guys we could find. Oh, is that a present for me? Cool. Thanks. I'm off, darling. Look after your friends and don't do anything stupid, all right? Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Oh, finally, she gets the hint. Hey everyone, this is Jody. She's in Unit 4 with my mom. Unit 4? The paranormal department? Ooh, what you do there? Bend spoons or speak to dead people? No. Stuff like that? No. Uh, Woo! Party time! I'll get the beer. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, do the candles. And Jody, you can take care of the music. Let's get crazy! Garbage is that. Slide over. We put on something from this century. Something really popping. Shit it under my bed for a week. Who doesn't even go into my room anymore? She's totally oblivious. Kirsten, you're a genius. Daddy, you want one? No, thanks. I, I, I don't drink, so... You don't know what you're missing, girl. After three or four beers, you'll see the world in a whole new light.
Hi. Hi, I'm Matt. Jody, right? I've never seen you at school before. You don't take classes on base? I'm in a different program with, with my own teacher. Right. Because I sure do remember if I'd seen you around before. So you work with Kirsten's mother? I'd never met Kirsten before. Her mom works in my unit, and that's why I was invited. I used to live in, in London before I moved here two years ago. And you? Where did you live before? New York? Man, I love New York. It's awesome. I went there once and it blew me away. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for, like, fun? I surf any chance I get and I play in a band with a bunch of friends. <laughs> and you, what, what are you into? Nothing special. I read a lot. Boring. <laughs> Can I, can I ask you something? Why are you in unit four? I'd rather not talk about it. Sorry, I'm so stupid. I, I hope I haven't like upset you or anything. No, that's cool. okay. Oh, slowdowns. Are you up for it? I don't... I don't really know how. That's all right. I, I don't really know how to either, so... You know, I'm sure you hear this all the time, but you're really pretty, you know. Thanks. You're not like the other girls. I mean, there's, there's something special about you. Thanks. You don't really know me. <laughs> Thanks for the dance, Matt, but I, I think I'll pass. Guys, guys, why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? <laughs> no, no, great no, idea. No, I, I'd pay to see that. Ugh, forget it, it's just a little bull. Yeah, come on, Jody, show us what you can do. Okay, Jody, you up for demonstration? No, no, I, I, I don't, I don't have anything to show. I told you so, guys. It's all bullshit. Right, okay, guys, it's time to eat that delicious cake and, most important, to open my birthday gifts. Actually, the cake can wait. I'm opening my gifts first. Love, Jen, XXX. Oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong! Just exactly what I needed! Now you can stop stealing your mom's. <laughs> and improve your chances of finding a decent boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> My future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. What is that? An old book. It smells funky. It's a really rare collection of uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. A girl and who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? No, no, and it's really rare. Yeah, just like your dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, is this a joke? 
I can't believe you came all the way to my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever. But she's just a little lab rat. A freaky little lab rat. Yeah. She's been following me around like a puppy all evening. Begging for it. Oh. And she's a slut, too. I never wanted to invite her. My mom made me. Yeah, she's a slut. A slut and a witch. We should, like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. Ah! Get her! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mistress of the obscure darkness, bring forth your mighty power. <laughs> please, please let me no, out! From the first moment I saw I'm her. begging you, please let me out! Please! Did someone say cake? Please, no, I want to get out! Please, I want to get out! I'm begging yeah, you, please let started. me out! Get me out of here, please. <laughs> Your fault we're in trouble, so cut it out! He's replacing Dr. Matthews. He's the one who's gonna be taking care of me from now on. He seems really nice. Go on, he wants to meet you. Go on, hurry up. Jody, he's waiting for you. Hurry up. 
Hello, Jody. Come in. My name is Nathan. Nathan Dawkins. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a little chat and get to know each other a little better. That is, if it's okay with you, of course. like it? You can have it if you want. Jody, my job is to study strange events and then try to explain them. Like the things that happen around you, right, Jody? Your mother tells me you have an invisible friend. This friend, has he been with you a long time? Since you were born? Is he a ghost? Or a spirit of someone who passed away? Can you draw him for me? And if I take a look? So, this thing is your friend, and he's connected to you with some kind of cord. Is he here right now? to do something. Tell him what to do, and it happens. I don't tell Aiden what to do. No one does. He's like a lion in a cage. We're tied together. He can't go away. That makes him really angry. It's not my fault. I want him to leave, too. It can be really scary sometimes. 
Did, did he do that to you? No. That was the monsters. Your room this is where you'll study and sleep for the next three years. Your training starts tomorrow at 5 a.m. Don't be late. Come on, Holmes, keep up. your grip. Use your momentum to swing across. Hurry! That's it, Holmes. Come on! I haven't got all day! Aim, shoot, advance the next cover. Got it? Your result is wrong. Start again. Okay, recruit. Now get rid of those oil drums.
good. Let's keep going. Sunday stroll! Not bad.
Bang. Do we have to spend the whole fucking night here? Let's do it again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Not bad, Jody. But if this wasn't an exercise, you'd be dead by now. If this wasn't an exercise, you wouldn't even be able to open your big mouth, Ryan. Congratulations, Operative Holmes. You made it. Welcome to the agency. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Jody. Welcome to the agency. Phoenix, like you Great made job, it, Jody. Congratulations. Brilliant.